Check, check, check. One minute, let me do some settings here. Please confirm if I am audible now. Earlier it was, uh, I was having some technical issues. So if it's working. I can see hi Matia. So we can start now. So today, this is our first session and we are going to learn following. We are going to learn following things. Number one, we are going to learn Greetings in German. We are going to learn C offs in German. Number three, we are going to learn German alphabets and we'll be doing German numbers. These are the four criteria, four basic things which we will be covering in today's session. Natia, you can write any question if, if, um, <coughs> Uh, you face any question or doubt I will just check it and respond to you back and whosoever is there now can you please mention your name that's going to be good if <coughs> we are sharing our names thank you very much by the way for sparing some time from your schedule and showing your interest for the language so let's start with German Greetings. So, so we say good morning, good afternoon, good afternoon, good day. That's a basic uh, greeting with Germans generally greet every day. Good day, good evening, good night. All right. So, good morning, as good morning, we referred with Guten Morgen. And pronunciation is Guten Morgen. Guten 
morgan that is good morning good afternoon generally they don't wish good afternoon to anyone they just say good day but you should know so we we say guten nachmittag and how you pronounce actually guten nachmittag guten nachmittag that is how they say good afternoon but they don't wish good afternoon <coughs> to everyone rather they say guten tag and how this is pronounced they pronounce this with guten tag guten tag that's how they pronounce good day guten tag good evening they say guten abend guten abend guten abend and guten abend this it's guten guten abend guten abend thank you everyone for joining in and sparing some time from your schedule and show your interest so it's it's good if you could simply write down your name in the chat box that's going to be really um, good and interactive and you may please ask any question at any point of time in case you have good night we say gute nacht gute nacht that is the pronunciation of these greetings all right so if we can observe we have only this guter here not guten because all these nouns they come under masculine morgen nachmittag tag abend they comes under masculine only guter nach because nach belongs to the feminine category that is the only reason to say another way to say hello which is hello they say hello hello they say hello another way of saying hello is they also express this hello with moin 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 is another day way to say good morning or hello general they say hi hey i mean young youth in germany they use this hi or hey sort of greetings okay now we have german sea offs sea offs how they say bye so they say see you okay one minute see you again auf wiedersehen so you can pronounce it a of auf we der we der okay you can say we der ze ze you can say ze yan auf wiedersehen that is the exact pronunciation of this see of and this we generally use when we are saying uh, see you again formally or to someone who is formal to us but not the friends or the casuals generally we say bye bye they simply say bye 
informally informally ja auf wiedersehen auf wiedersehen thank you very much for raising this request natia auf wiedersehen auf wiedersehen mm -hmm. bye we have tschüss you say tschü you say tschü tschüss this short tschüss tschüss it's tschüss you can say bye that is used among friends or casually or something informal to us another way to say bye germans often use servus also to say or to express bye servus servus so we say ser bus servus 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 okay this is how so let me repeat one more time greetings are guten morgen guten morgen guten nachmittag as i said we do not wish this thing hum isko kabhi bhi kisi ko bhi aise wish nahi karte we have guten tag guten tag guten abend guten abend gute nacht gute nacht it's hallo and how many of you are facing this challenge because i can see everything is working fine at my end natia and others can you am i is clearly audible yeah kamala uh, kamala kandan yeah i mean if i am not completely audible maybe please you can check your uh, sound settings because from my side things seems to be pretty okay yeah we say hallo we say moin moin we say hey hi J youngsters generally use this hey hey kind of stuff now see ops we have auf wieder sehen auf wiedersehen you can say that auf wiedersehen auf wiedersehen you can uh, someone can say this way as well then we have tschüss as bye tschüss 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 servus servus ja t silent correct tschüss so natia uh, that's a good pick up by the way so in german whenever we have t s c h combination it is always going to be pronounced as ch in china always that's ch sound the combination t s c h no exception to it no exception thank you very much for being so active in the session mm -hmm. all right let us now talk about few german alphabets so before we do that before we do that let's have a quick revision guten morgen guten nachmittag guten tag guten abend gute nacht hallo moin moin hey auf wiedersehen tschüss and servus two greetings greetings and see offs right in case you have any more questions please mention that in the chat box otherwise i'll proceed further if you write okay i'm just waiting for your revert
Thank you very much, Mithya. Natia, I'm sorry. So we have some German alphabets. We have German alphabets. We'll see how these alphabets are. They sound in German. German alphabets we say das alpha bet das alpha bet das alpha bet mm -hmm. so like in english we have same sounds a a b s we say this way b Let's see how we pronounce these letters. So A is pronounced as A in father. It's always that A sound. A. A sound. That A sound. A. B as in Bay of Bengal. It's Bay. 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 Say as in in say in say. That pronunciation. Say. A B say. A B say day in same daily that day day a b c day a b c day we have a it's my english vowel a the way we pronounce a in english the same way we pronounce here a a sound is always a a a a in a that a sound hey a f same as in english f f a B C D A F A B C D A F Now the next sound we have G sound which is gay the girl sound in gay 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 a B C D A F G G Ha is H we call it Ha Ha in in Ha Ha that Ha A B C D A F Gay ha. We have E. Now E sound is English E. N C E E. That's my third vowel. So we we have A A E. A, A, E. Three vowels. This J is pronounced as Y in 
in uh, New York, that year sound, year sound, and we pronounce this letter as yot, yot, a, b, c, d, a, f, g, h, e, yot, yot. Now this letter is known as kha in khan kha a b c d a f g h e j kha this we have l same as in english i should say same as in english l this is also same as in english m this is also same as in english n this is also my fourth vowel same as in english o now this one pay in pay that sound pay pay let's practice one more time all the vowels together a b c d a f g h e j k l m n o p p now this we have q sound which is my ku in kuku ku sound ku ku a b c d a f g h e j k l m n O P Q R S. Now here we have R. Little extra trill. Little extra trill. R sound. In we say trill. That R sound. R. 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 S same as in English it has three different sounds which we are going to talk after this one S idly same as in English but has three sounds okay which we will talk later T T in thunder. That T. T. A B C D A F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T. Now we have this u, u in fool. The sound which we have of u in fool, this is what we have here. U. U. This one is f in finish. That f sound, and we pronounce this one as fau. This is my vowel. In all German words, we will pronounce this V as F, except loan words. Now, loan words are the words which we borrow from other languages. Okay, F, vowel. This we have V. 
वे इन वे द साउंड ऑफ डब्ल्यू इन वे दैट साउंड वे वे दिस वी हैव इक्स इन फिक्स सिक्स इक्स वी कॉल और प्रोनाउंस दिस लेटर एज इक्स फिक्स मिक्स this we have epsilon its name is epsilon you can write this or you can learn as this epsilon it always is going to be pronounced as as in y n y r y sound but when we call the name of this letter it is epsilon beginners can learn the sound epsilon that's fine epsilon now we have the last one which is set we have additional t sound before s we have additional t sound like the sound we have in vats it's a hindi word vats that t sound is set 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 we pronounce this one more time a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x epsilon set Thank you, Barani Sita Ramaya. Thank you very much for the confirmation. Now, what I request you all to do, I'm just showing one of my screen. All of you, please go to YouTube. please go to youtube and type a b c rap in german a b c rap in german just type that spend around 2 minutes listen to the song and when you are back please write down i am back in the chat box just 2 minutes and enjoy the show thank you very much i hope i hope you have listened to the song please write down done in the chat box if you are if you have already watched the song and practiced the alphabets
all right let me proceed further now we have some sounds and these sounds so we have first sound of vowel a this is a in father few examples we have hand wand land a a mark a always a sound the same sound which we have in hindi a we have sound of a a for example we have zehen zehen zayan essen lazen lazen we have sound of o same like in english sound is going to be same for example knock brought brought knock o now sound of u same sound which we have o in hindi so in, in hindi language if you are all aware of or familiar with so we have five sounds in hindi which is a a e o u same sound the exact same pronunciation we have in german a a e o u now sound of u as in nuwa nuwar shnuwar shnuwar buch luft u now sound of e sound of e as in ich ich mich e ish mich five sounds a a e o u just practice this a a e o u a a e o u now what happens when these vowel come with each other so for example when a is going to come with u that is going to make sound of au example house mouse raus rau ken au always no exception au mouse raus rau ken house mouse raus rau ken what happens when this a comes with a they make sounds sound of a in dad sad and this this we write it this way so these two dots we are going to talk about in few minutes it's a a a okay now when this u comes with e which is u and a when they come together this we denote with this one u in few new u <coughs> we don't say u we say rather u a u u for example we have 
Bücher. Küche. Küche. Ü. Now, when this O comes with A, that is my this character and it is pronounced as Ü as in sure, mature. For example, Kirscher. Schön, schön, ä, ü, ö, ä, ü, ö, ä, ü, ö, schön, Bücher, Küche, for here we have Lächeln, Lächeln. Bakery. Let's see when this A comes with E. Yeah, meaning we will do later on, Natya. Right now we are focusing on the sounds. Word meanings we are going to do in the coming sessions. In this session, we should be aware of the sounds. Now when this E and I, which is A, E, come together, they produce the sound of I as in I, my, always I, I. For example, Shraiben, Raizen, Kreiser, Kreiser, always I sound. But when they appear this way, i.e., as in me, see, same sound of i, we will be pronouncing. For example, Riechen, Kriegen, sound of i. So it is very important to practice these sounds or the combinations of different vowels to, pra to pronounce the words correctly. That is the major challenge which generally beginners face when it comes to speaking session. They are not able to pronounce these words correctly and they face challenges. Now please you can uh, mail me your email ID or you can drop your email ID in the chat box or you can mail me at the given uh, mail ID in the screen. Uh, I'll be sharing this particular uh, document with everyone. So you have it for your records. Let us now talk about sound of few consonants. When they make, when they come with each other, what sounds do these consonants produce? For example, first we talk about sound of S, very important. sound of s s generally makes three sound s has three different sounds the first sound we have sh second sound s makes z and third simple s these are the three important sounds which S makes. So why, when it happens, sure sound is going to be there when there is a consonant after S. No exception. Whenever there is a consonant after S, it is going to create sound of sh. For example, Sprache, Sprechen, Stehen, Stuhl, Spielen. These sounds. Always. So the rule is, when there is 
consonant after s it is making sound of sh. now guess what happens when the vowel comes after s please write in the chat box your observation or your guess what sound s could produce when it is coming before a vowel any guesses natia c hi will thank you for joining in will I'm just waiting for your guesses. What do you think if S is coming before a vowel? What sound do you think it should make? Any guesses? No, not here. No, that's not correct. Sh sound is going to be there when only there is a consonant. If we have this, when there is any vowel after S, it is going to give sound of Z. Example, Zagen, Zehen. Zingen Z sound when there is vowel sound of S is going to be when when S is either in the middle of any word of a word or the last letter of the word sound is simple s, s. always s sound nothing else always for example no problem please it's going to be 10 o'clock to 11 30 every day before 10 o'clock it will not be starting Anyhow, I'm going to wind up in next five minutes. If you can just wait for five minutes more, it will be done. When S is either in the middle of a word or the last letter of the word. For example, ist, bist, house, rouse, mouse, that sound. Three situations. Sound of S. So just another confirmation. Session will be 10 p.m. to 11.30 every day. This is going to be. All right. Is best house rouse mouse when S is the middle of the word. Next one. Sound of ch. That is the that is perhaps the last session for the for today. And we can continue from the next topic maybe tomorrow. So you can plan your evenings accordingly. For one and a half hour, it's 10 o'clock to 11.30. Sound of CH. Very important. Sound of CH. See, there are five sounds. 
फाइव साउंड्स ऑफ सी एच वन सी एच इज गोइंग टू बी प्रोनाउंस एज सेकेंड सी एच इज गोइंग टू बी प्रोनाउंस एज थर्ड सी एच इज गोइंग टू बी प्रोनाउंस एज च इन चाइना सी एच इज गोइंग टू बी प्रोनाउंस एज इक्स इन फॉक्स एंड अगेन सी एच इज गोइंग टू बी प्रोनाउंस एज श देर आर टू वेज नंबर वन वेन देर आर दीज बॉबल्स ई आई E I I E E I A E A and E. These are the vowels. When C H is, then there are these vowels before C H. I should write this way when R before C H. For example, expression. Observe the sound. Expression. Lesson. Desher. Busher, Kusher. When these sounds are there before C H, it is always going to give me sound of sh. In case number two, second case, when there is S before C H, that means discombination. Sound is always sh, shula, shuld, shinen, sh, always sh. Now sound of ch as kh. When a, o, u, or au are before c h. Whenever a, o, au are there before c h, it is going to make sound of kh, as in lakhen, makhen, kokhen, knock. Can, can, can. No exceptions. When is ch going to make sound of ch? Like say, as I said, combination of t s c h is always going to. be pronounced as ch in china for example doich doich ch doich land doich land the last sound of ch which we have is when s is after ch example combination of ch and x ch and s like fox ducks zex zex this is the sound which is generally going to make sound of x in fox quick revision and we wind up for today sound of ch five sounds sh 
when these are the vowels sound of ch sound of uh, ch when s is there it's sh when there is a o u are there it is going to make sound of k okay ch as ch when this combination t s c h is there t s c h sound of ch as x when s is after ch this is the sound of ch i should say sounds sounds of s 3 has 3 sounds when s is up after uh, before a consonant it is going to make sound of sh when s is before a vowel it is going to be pronounced as z in zindagi when it is in the middle of the word or the last letter it is bist house mouse rouse and pronunciation a a o u e or a a e o u you can practice a u a u e i e a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z you can pronounce this one so we wind up today's session here and tomorrow we can continue from the next part okay and so how we say bis morgen it is till tomorrow bis dan till then and you say um, you can also say uh, no, no, that's not going to be correct. So on the NBS. So I wish everyone gute Nacht for today. Sleep well. Tomorrow when we will connect, we'll connect with the next topic. I hope you enjoyed the session. Please share your feedback in the chat box and we will connect tomorrow. Thank you everyone. Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. You know, please write Gute Nacht in the chat box. See you tomorrow. Danke schön, Maharani Sita Ramaya. Bitte schön. You speak German. Gute Nacht. It's A. It's A. And N capital. Why? We will learn it later on. Thank you, Vivek. Thank you, Natia. Thank you, Bharani, for joining. And thank you, Will, also. We'll see us tomorrow at the same time. Till then, thank you very much. Good night. Guten Nacht. <laughs>